Hello, my name is Sam and welcome to another video talking about Tap Forms 5 for iOS and Mac. Uh, today I'm going to start a brand new project for something that I had an idea with around organizing what food I eat and, and what I have in the kitchen. And what it, this is going to sort of come into is I'm going to create a meal planner and I want to do a couple of different things with it. Uh, but sort of the problem that I ran into or, or was having a conversation with my wife about was, uh, what do we eat for dinner? Uh, we have it every day and I thought, you know, maybe we should get a little more organized about it, uh, organize our shopping a little better, uh, whilst I do a lot of stuff in tap forms that seem very organized. There's a lot of things in my life that are less than organized. And so I was thinking maybe it'd be interesting to create a brand new meal planner and document my journey in what this database is going to be, what we're going to do, what we're going to uh, work with. So to get started, I've created a brand new meal planner document. Uh, and the first thing I do every time I create a new document is uh, sync it with iCloud. And the reason I do that is... When I sync it to iCloud, it creates a placeholder for me inside of iCloud. And this placeholder is going to be an empty document, right? There's nothing in this document right now. Uh, we've created it. That's it. Uh, so we're going to sync it to, to iCloud so that we get that empty document there. Now, usually I actually use CouchDB to, to sync uh, and I'll set that one up off off stream so that you don't see my super secret server address username and password uh, but the reason I, I get started with with iCloud here is that when I create the document in iCloud it creates that placeholder and then it puts it on every single one of my devices and so when I want to pick this up on my iPad or my iPhone uh, I have an idea that at some point I'll put a shopping list in here what that means is that uh, I can download the placeholder document from iCloud that iOS uh, has has pre-synced for me, uh, and then I can configure my iPhone or iPad or other uh, iDevice to use CouchDB, and at that point I've already got the document there, it's got the correct document ID, I don't need to do any other changes. Uh, so that's why I, I immediately synced with iCloud and then later on uh, generally sync to, to CouchDB. Uh, the other reason is for doing that at the very start is obviously I don't want to make any changes so I want this document to be more or less as empty as possible so that when we do resync it with CouchDB uh, it's all it's all gonna update properly and cleanly uh, between the two different versions. Now I said that what I wanted to do here is create a new form to start tracking uh, my meals uh, and so I'm going to create a new form for meals and we're going to do uh, a new field for the date uh, meal date uh, we'll do an extra field for meal type and actually while we're here let's pause on that let's go to lists and create a pick list for this for meal type and we will do breakfast lunch and dinner realistically lunch and dinner are the only two I actually care about um, most of the most of the time my breakfast is is coffee uh, not particularly healthy but it is what it is um, meal type and then we will do our pick list of meal type and that gives us this nice little one. Um, let's just change that to be a uh, combo box. Which one do I want here? Maybe a combo box. Yeah, because a combo box lets me type and it automatically fills it in for me. That's exactly what I want here. Uh, one of the, the downsides, obviously, so I... I well, that one. Uh, I really like uh, the popover fields, um, but this this interface, this pop-up interface for non for for these simple sort of things, uh, it, it I I don't like it as much. 
Uh, so for something as simple as this, uh, we'll go for the combo box. Uh, mostly because it gives us this sort of interface where if I want to click, I can click. Uh, but if I start typing, it already completes for me. And let's do that. And uh, let's actually think about what we're going to do tomorrow. And tomorrow for lunch, we're going to have uh, meal name. Let's call this soup. Uh, uh, soup and garlic bread. Uh, I cooked up a beef soup a while back, uh, so we've slowly been working through that for lunch uh, and for dinner tomorrow. We are going to have, uh, I think, chicken wings of some variety. I don't actually know what what this is going to be. This is going to be a bit of a surprise. This is uh, something my wife is is managing, so she's going to create chicken wings. Now, what I wanted to do as a pivot here is actually uh, create recipes. We'll create this recipe form, and we'll do a name. Call it recipe, actually, and then. Uh, we will do a table for ingredients. Ingredients, I think I spelled that correctly. I did, very good. Um, and we're going to edit the table fields. And in the ingredients list, we're gonna have ingredient name. Very simple. measurement uh, will keep as text so that we can put um, the uh, amount uh, and we'll say chicken wings ingredient 10 uh, chicken wings 10 wings sugar one tablespoon and we will do another field and we'll make this one a text field. Not a text field, a uh, note field. Uh, yes, I do want to change the type, thank you. Uh, maybe we'll make this a markdown field. Markdown fields are relatively new in Tap Forms 5 uh, and they allow you to use markdown. And markdown is um, in instructions, this has a better name. Uh, markdown fields allow you to uh, use formatting textual based formatting to to very quickly bring a, a document together markdown is very popular on the web uh, and as you can see this is a very simple editor here uh, but what it does is is use a mark this markdown text format so that uh, you can do bold text with an asterisk so star text star uh, no I'm sorry that's italics is it two? There we are. Two, two, two asterisks, italics, text, italics, 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 text with star, text, star. Uh, you have some basic headings. Uh, so you al it allows you to do uh, bullet points. One, two, three um, and then also uh, numbered lists like first item second item third, third item so it allows you to do very simple formatting uh, and we're going to use that for the recipe field because most of the time uh, we're going to copy and paste from the web when we copy and paste into a notes field it brings the content with us and we can see here uh, it's nicely rendered uh, in a consistent way. Uh, sometimes when you copy and paste stuff off of the web, it doesn't come uh, particularly nice. Uh, I'll have to figure out what our wings recipe is uh, a little later and fill that in. But this is what I wanted to get started with, is starting to uh, write down uh, what we're going to do for, for, for lunch and dinner, uh, share that with my wife using CouchDB, 
so that she can work with the document as well and we can start to do planning around what we're going to eat. This is perhaps one of the more inane uses of uh, tap forms, I think. Uh, but I'm going to use it to also talk about scripting. Uh, we're going to use uh, this ingredients down the line to uh, tie into a shopping list so that we know what we buy. Uh, and one of the things I need to really do is actually an audit of my freezer. Uh, and I actually figure out what I have in there and what's good to eat. So hopefully this is interesting for folk. Uh, we're going to go through a bit of a journey. We're going to evolve this document. Uh, one of the powerful things with tap forms is that you can start with this very simple document and then evolve it to your needs as you, you find it. Uh, we're going to walk through all of that as this document evolves. Uh, thank you for watching. If this was interesting for you, please leave a thumbs up. If there are any questions you have, uh, ideas, uh, things that you want covered, leave a comment in the box below and I will see you on the next video.